member of its Red Devil display team had to be rescued in mid-air after his parachute became entangled. This guy's Tom Arigan now reports. When the unexpected happens in mid-air, there's very little time to think, let alone react. At the Whitehaven Air Show in Cumbria, two members of the British Army parachute display team got into trouble. The pair were attempting a stacking manoeuvre when they got tangled. As soon as I um, made contact with Wayne from the RAF, I looked up, seen the parachute was a little bit wrapped around, pretty much straight away you realise it's not exactly how we uh, plan to do it, but then training kicks in. We were conducting a canopy formation, um, it was a controlled collision. Uh, this is something that kind of be wrapped around myself, and we had to, from that moment there, we had to discuss all the way, keeping communication throughout the parachute display, what we're actually going to do to get ourselves out of this situation. As I look out, the parachute was coming down, and he was really frantically wiggling his legs, um, and above him was another man, and he was tangled into the other man's parachute, and he's collapsed. And he was frantically moving his legs, trying, I don't know if he was trying to straighten up or kind of move. And then all of a sudden he was heading towards the overall gazebos and then he landed into the dock behind me. As the official display team of the parachute regiment, the army is now investigating. But what's clear is they somehow managed to guide themselves safely into a very busy dock. He came over just over here. He managed to miss all these huge boats with all the big high mass, and he managed to miss it all and just land so safely in the water, it was just pure skill. It was just like watching a kind of Superman hero. The Red Devils carry out more than 60 displays a year all over the world. The team is made up of 12 serving soldiers from the three battalions of the Paras, all of whom have served in operational tours. They're trained to jump onto land or water, but this was hardly routine. That guy on top, who's, that parachute is designed for one person. One person only, and he's got two people hanging on it, and uh, he did well to get it into that water to land it. Those who thought they might be about to witness a horrific accident have praised the quick thinking of the men, who both walked away uninjured, although no doubt shaken. Tom Harrigan, Sky News.